Hello and welcome to another collage with me. So today I'm going to be using primarily the magazines that I found in a trash pile in my neighborhood. So I feel very fortunate to have stumbled upon this. I think it was meant to be. So I've already gone ahead and cut out some of the images that I find inspiring, especially these clouds. The colors are just so spectacular. And now that it is really summer here and it's very hot and very dry i am dreaming of my favorite season in tucson and that is the monsoon season which is our summer rains and they historically are big and epic and terrifying and magical and they come in and there's massive thunderheads that build over the mountains and they get so dark and black and heavy with water and lightning and thunder and flash floods everywhere and just, oh, electrifying. It's so exciting. And then when it rains, it it builds up all day long. So it's really hot. It'll be in the high, like in the hundreds, like 105, 110, the hotter, the, the better. And then finally it rains and everything just rejoices. The desert cools down into the 60s. The air is clean and clear. All the animals are really active and the greens look vibrant again instead of all dusty and, and drab. It's just such a wonderful season. Last year, we had a terrible monsoon season. Uh, really, actually, quite alarmingly bad. Normally, we get about six inches in the summer and last year I think we got a half of an inch so yeah hoping that's not going to be a repeat I'm crossing my fingers so anyways I was inspired by these clouds because they remind me of my favorite season here in the desert and how I long for that uh, <laughs> when everything comes to life again after being just beaten by the sun When I make these collages, I like to, I have a hard time visualizing things, so it's nice to kind of set the, set the stage and get everything cut out and then kind of position things and play around with it and see what there is to see. I had a really hard time with this. I wanted to incorporate the Choya and the Saguaro. In the end, I was like, well, it, it will be more versatile if I cut off the arm, <laughs> and then I can manipulate it and make it fit better. Um, but I still felt like something was missing, so I went back and looked through all the magazines that I have. They're such beautiful magazines. I am so happy to be using them. And I found a woodpecker, a Gila woodpecker. That bird is often seen on cactus, so it just seemed appropriate, and I think it filled the space well. So that's it. That is the end of this collage. Thank you so much for watching. This will become a sticker and be posted in my shop. And bonus puppy footage or puppy sitting for the week. Take care, everyone. Bye.